Hi guys, I'm Vi and together with my husband we are Vi Chalky Furniture. In today's video we will show you how to deal with the furniture bleed, how to decoupage and how to do the paint wash. If you like our video, subscribe and give us thumbs up and comments and questions are very much welcome. And I hope you will enjoy it and let's get rolling! This project looked like something easy to do, but with closer look we found a lot of things that did our attention. Top was the worst, with plenty areas to fix. Swollen wood filler, missing veneer and patches of old flaky paint. Drawers were in a bad shape too. Black paint everywhere, bottoms needed adjusting, few drawers had to be taken apart and rebuilt to work properly. Lucas used furniture stripper to get rid of the old flaky paint. Remember to always follow instructions provided. We will also link all the products used during this restoration in the description box. To clean off remainings of the furniture stripper, he used white spirit. Then he sanded off remains of old paint with 120 and 240 grit sanding paper. Missing veneer was filled with wood filler. Bottoms from every drawer were taken off, sanded, readjusted and placed it back again. The wasp bottom drawer had to be taken apart, glued and nailed back together to force it to keep it the right shape. Bye. 
Finally, I could start painting. First coat is done with Anislon Old Light. I used Anislon Flat Brush for this job. I painted in every direction to get extra texture. Sides were painted exactly the same way as top. Every direction for extra effect. This is the first coat of paint. You can see yellowing on top. It is not that visible yet, but as the paint was drying, yellow stains were more visible. It's the wood bleeding, and we had to stop and deal with the bleed straight away. To deal with this problem, I used Ben primer sealer on top. You can clearly see white and yellow patches. This stuff is perfect for small wood bleed. It's time for my dancer to be glued to the front. As always, I used Mod Podge Mat. First, I secured picture in place and started to apply glue on the top of the drawers. I used canvas picture, so it was very thick and easy to work with. I knew there will be no wrinkles and ripping. I used roller to make sure that there's no air bubbles dropped underneath. After the picture was glued on, we cut off overhanging bits and cut in between drawers. We did it because this material is very thick and we could not destroy it. If you are using normal decoupage paper, you need to wait for the glue to dry before any cutting, otherwise it will rip. I left everything to dry completely and came back and redo every single drawer one by one to make sure everything is glued perfectly. I cut off even more of the pictures to fit perfectly to drawers and applied two more coats of a glue on the top to seal it. My next job was to blend picture into this piece. First, I applied a thick layer of coca to cover up edges of the pictures. I needed hair dryer to speed up the drying process for extra texture. Coco was completely dry, I used old white paint wash to soften transition. 
You need to water your paint down so it's easy to work with and few pieces of cloth to take your wash off. You apply, wash and wipe it off. I used topic technique as I did not want straight lines. Apply and take it off to your liking. Remember, it will look different when it's dry, so sometimes it's better to leave it and come back to it later. If you do not like it, you can always correct it easily. I left everything overnight to dry completely and I applied French linen wash with the same technique as the previous one. I was still unhappy with the result and I did another white wash again. You can do it back and forth as many times as you want until you are happy with the result. This chest of drawers meant to be pure white but I did not like the way it looked. I did layer of French linen and old white wash to the whole piece to tie it all together. For protection I used clear wax of Anislone, my small brush to apply it and a white cloth to take excess off. With white pieces every single piece of hair, thread, dust is visible, so grab yourself tweezers and take it off straight away. Otherwise, they will be implemented in your piece and nobody wants her on their furniture. And that's it, all done, finished, and I hope you do enjoy the outcome. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you did enjoy our video. Uh, my boy really wanted to be in this video, so I'm sorry that you can't see Valerina anymore. Uh, please do subscribe to keep my channel going, and you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.